Hello and welcome to BBC Parliament's coverage of election 2010. Wednesday the 21st of April saw former independent MP Martin Bell get together with 47 independent prospective parliamentary candidates at the Frontline Club in London. They've launched an independent network to provide support to endorsed candidates who were not attached to a political party. Uh, this is an unusual opportunity for independents for obvious reasons because of the disgrace of the parliamentary expenses scandal and the general anger and indignation of the voters. You find it expressed in the volatility of the polls and I think you'll also find it expressed in a high vote for independence in some places, especially those, those constituencies where sitting MPs uh, should have been uh, deselected uh, but, but have not. The obstacles facing an independent are obviously considerable. They're, they're financial, they're organisational. There's the danger of being squeezed out in the horse race of the three-party or four-party contest. And this is exacerbated in this occasion by the, uh, by the presidential-style debates. Nonetheless, it is a unique opportunity for candidates of no political party. And I'm not saying a huge number are going to be elected. I'm hoping for about uh, half a dozen, including the two independent seeking re-election, Di Davis and, and Dr. Richard Taylor. And I think this group will be a force for honest <laughs> politics. Now, some of them will be attacked by their rivals and some of them will be ignored. I have the fondest memories of standing in Brentwood and Ongo against Eric Pickles, now the Conservative Party chairman, in the 2001 election. And in the course of the campaign, he said he hadn't found a single one of his voters who was going to vote for me. That's 13,500 people whom he hadn't talked to, obviously. <laughs> Such an opportunity. Um, I think the people are in, a, are in a mood to take it. My fear is that the scandal may disincline some of them to vote at all. I know some of the candidates here personally, and I know some of them are standing because they looked to see who was on the ballot paper, and there was nobody they wanted to vote for, so they decided to do it themselves. And that was the case with Sarah Flannery, who's standing against George Osborne in my former constituency of, of Tatton. So my advice to you, ladies and gentlemen, is, uh, is go for it. It's going to be the one of the best experiences of your life. Thank you very much. So how much um, more difficult is life going to be for independent candidates with the uh, surge in support for Nick Clegg and the Liberal Democrats, do you think? I think these things are, ha are happening in parallel. I think the volatility of, of the electorate, the surge in support for one of the smaller parties, the the support that independents have are all functions of the same sickness in our body politic. And if all was well with the two-party system, we wouldn't be seeing the extraordinary events that we are now seeing. And I'm pretty sure that the rise of the independent is going to be part of that. Uh, Mr Bell, a lot of people out there voting in this election have not have heard of the independent network. Tell us what it is. The independent network is a loose organisation that helps independents help each other. And because this is such an extraordinary election, such a volatile number of voters out there, uh, we think there's a fantastic chance, best chance in generations for independents to get elected. And the independent network, these are some of the candidates, and the independent network is there to help them. Does everybody who's running as an independent immediately qualify to be part of this network or not? Oh no, there are some real nutters out there as you could imagine. They have to sign on to certain principles and there'll be, uh, there may be as many as 300 uh, independents standing and, and some of them will not actually be endorsed by the network and some of them will be very good ones. Uh, there'll be twice as many independents as we've ever seen before. That's the, I think it's an effect of the expenses scandal and the alienation of the electorate. The polls are to be believed we could be on our way to a hung parliament. Could an independent play a part in that? I think a small group of independents, a handful of independents, would be a force for honest politics. And in a hung parliament, they would be extremely influential. And the only other thing I wanted to ask is that um, being independent obviously means standing on your own. So coming together in a, in a network like this, doesn't that go against independence? Well, it is a very loose grouping. Uh, independence wouldn't have a whip, but they might have a leader. These people will more or less agree with each other about the need to restore public trust in public life, and I think everyone else will agree with them as well. Just one more question. Sorry, people might think that voting independent is a waste of vote because... Uh, only the big parties have a chance of getting into power. Is it a wasted vote? I think an independent vote is the very reverse of a wasted vote. You have a chance of getting somebody into Parliament, standing for honest politics, who will have a real influence in a hung Parliament. Thank you very much.